also just like just the nature of my existence like I'm literally like a large black person walking these streets you know like I'm literally like in the line of battle and I'm like not trying to separate that online in the way that people do with like anonymity you know like people want to create different person like people want to create distance from themselves like that that's that's what we're talking about is like the ironic distance that we that gets created online and like right. how that can be fun and how that can be like amusing and like helpful um, right. But but I think that by disrupting that space with the shit that I'm thinking about, it brings to light like, <clears throat> um, you know, I think that the, the scapegoating that goes on in those spaces, because I do think that there are some sketchy white people that get away with sketchy shit online. Yeah, for sure. That's and, you know, and, and and that's why I want more black people to take up space in the way that I do to confuse it and like to like right. re, like regain. Yeah, that was a part of my uh, when I first started. I was like, yeah, I, I want to. Yeah, white people have been taking up this space for too long. It's like black people need to take up ironic blackness needs to take up digital space or whatever. It's like yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. I just want to do whatever the fuck I want to do. I mean, I personally think the ironic distance that you're talking about is like pretty subversive. I think it's like a kind of great way to combat things that you're against. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's a it's a safe way. Right. I mean, I think you don't have to like commit to anything. Totally. I mean, I think that's part of the, was like the part of the rise of the alt right was like right. they were untouchable because you couldn't make fun of them. You make they fun like of them. ate it all up and like used it against you. You know what I mean? Yes. And then I I don't know. And kind of doing these ironically distanced uh, shit posting, I think is is a very similar tactic. Yeah, I think yeah, it, it, exactly that. Part of this is like a certain part of like leftists like taking back meme space from these alt-right mother yeah, like exactly. motherfuckers and like and then part of this is like you know centrist not being not able to deal with it like yeah exactly. wait that looks too much like what they were doing i don't get it so you're on that you're on their side well because now it's, it's also twofold now because it's taking it back from the alt-right but also you have to combat all the like cancel cancel bullshit you know, they don't have to deal with that yeah exactly exactly they don't give it yeah exactly they, they, don't they want, want that they want right. that I want that. Well, right. I mean, <laughs> but it, it can affect you in, 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 a, in a different way, way more. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Do you think there's a way to like convert the like censorship left back to, to something that's um, palatable? Is there hope? Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm not a very hopeful person when it comes to that stuff. I'm, yeah, uh, I'm very pessimistic. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, my my go to is usually just slam it over someone's head until they get it. Right. Like, yeah. like you're gonna fucking get this until you fucking. Like, I'm gonna keep saying it until you get it. Because that's their attitude also. Is slamming it over. Our yeah, they're head. they're slamming over the head and put that nigga in jail because he say a bad thing. On right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually interesting what we just kind of like figured out, which is that cancely shit has way a way bigger effect on someone like you than like actually alt-right people people who they claim to be actually you know yes yeah. uh it really has less of an effect on them than anyone else and more of an effect on anyone which else is the whole people. which is the whole point of like the anti-joe biden right. stuff is like yeah you guys think that it's like it's like yeah it's the slowing incremental like harm reduction -y sort of bullshit where white people just want to slow the world down and make and so that they can feel good about like whatever the fuck they're doing yeah but like uh, like ultimately shit is not changing fast enough or shit is not getting better fast enough you know i i don't know i've been this year is the first year i've like played with like accelerate accelerationist ideas and like nick land bullshit and like these like techno like dystopian things yeah yeah but and, and a lot of that discourse doesn't have enough you know black this in it so i've like just been like totally but but i have found a couple black writers and like a couple cool thinkers that are like they just don't really yeah they don't really give a fuck with like uh electoral politics like the we're not, they're not i'm not really interested in changing anyone's mind right i'm interested in like figuring this shit out for myself and yeah. like and like creating space for other people that are also trying to figure this shit out totally does that make sense like, yes i I, th I think it's a lost cause to like change people's minds you can just get your shit together and help 
the people that want to help you get your shit together, get their shit together. Right. Well, also another thing is like cancely stuff is obviously <laughs> certainly uh, like political <laughs> because it's like left wing or whatever. But culture war style shit really at the end of the day has nothing to do with electoral politics at all. Like there's nothing no, left wing about, but it's but it, it does in the sense that people who have those electoral politics believe them. But there's nothing like inherently left wing about cancely shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then a lot of the characteristics of alt right shit, there's nothing inherently right wing about them. It's just these other kind of connotations that have become affiliated with respective electoral politics. Yeah, and I think yeah, I I, I hear what you're saying. I just I'm afraid that. Post Trump, we've totally like we it's it's eaten itself. We're like now it is now it is those things. Now we cancel now we cancel is we cancel politics is politics.
Are you going to play the jump easy to the race board? Are you going to wear your tough easy to the race board? <laughs> What's in your bag? Don't, don't, don't fumble the bag. What's in your bag? Bitch, bitch, you ain't your, bitch, you ain't your bag. I wanted to win. I wanted to win the best. I wanted to win. We were stolen. We are stolen. We are stolen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made it so far into this performance and I never asked you, what are your pronouns? <laughs> <laughs> what are your pronouns? What are your pronouns? What are your pronouns? Can you tell me your pronouns? I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Yeah. 
And will the medics be delivered by telehealth? And will Obamacare come? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. This is about what I inherited. This is about what I have been left with. How can I lose if I'm already chose? I'm a winner. I'm a winner. <laughs> how can I? How can I lose if I'm always dreams are so easy? I just how can, how can I lose? <laughs> how can I? How can I lose? How can I? How can I? Oh, he's gone. Don't take my baby away. Don't. <laughs> don't take my baby away. Don't take my baby away. Oh God, he got his back. He has everything. Just, just don't take him away. Don't take him away, God. Don't take my baby away. Don't, don't take my baby away. Don't take my baby away. Don't take my baby. He's the one. God, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Don't, don't, don't take my baby away. Don't. black performances, not this spectacular black performance. But you know the subtle one performances? Like waking up and choosing to be a black. I'm a teacher. And this is my classroom. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. I have a loaded gun. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher protecting his classroom. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher protecting his classroom. I'm a teacher protecting his class. I'm a teacher. They have a lot of jobs. I'm a teacher. 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 I will never lie to you. I'm a teacher. I have a loaded gun. 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 I'm a teacher. 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 I would never lie to you. I would never lie to you. I would never lie to you. I 
an extended millennial pause. <laughs> In September, you know, you just have to like take pleasure in this little percussive role. <laughs> okay, so. In September of 2022, Kanye tweeted, I want my children to own my master. I'm out, 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 I'm Hello? Yeah, oh God, yeah, better. <laughs> In a post earlier this summer by the account at Fair Wage on stage, it shared reports from the Broadway Journal that Oscar Eustace, the artistic director of the public theater, took home $1.2 million in earnings in 2020. The post asked readers to share with them the salaries that they earned while working at the public theater. Various accounts share their hourly wages floating between you know, like 15 to $40 an hour for various technical production positions, and some interns shared about their $25 a day stipends in 2017. But in all the commentary about disparity, one comment particularly struck my attention. It stated, why do you hate success and worship failure? In an earlier draft of this script, there was an extended beat where I listed all the funders of the public theater preceded by the phrase, I failed. I failed the Hertz Gilmore Foundation. I failed the Blotvinick Family Foundation. I failed Deutsche Bank. I failed the Bezos Family. They say never forget, but to remember would be to fabulate a history that is permanently unknown. I have often felt that language escapes me or passes through me too quickly to be held. In my recent work, I have adopted a fierce commitment towards spoken improvisation, a commitment that I often judge as a lack of compositional rigor and an inability to choose. There can be an interpretation of both privilege and victimhood apparent in the act of forgetting. To willfully forget comes with an assumptive trust that the virtues of the past have been synthesized into the present, comfortably accelerating forward without looking back, forgetting as a mark of integration. And on the other hand, to forget or to be forgotten. I think of my own cultural history. I spent a few months in Ghana this summer, um, and I had a lot of expectations about what this homecoming, quote unquote, would feel like to be returned to my ancestral site of origin. But in truth, my time there elucidated quite the opposite reflection, an uncrossable severance between the social lived realities of continental Africans and myself as a black American. There has been something forgotten a link that can only contemporaneously be fabulated. In the projects I took up in Ghana, I attempted to sing through this lapse of memory. I endeavored on a series of sonic improvisations testify, using my modulated voice to recall the sight of the break. There's something comforting to me about attempting tasks that I cannot achieve, the virtue of trying. The virtue of trying.
My name is Trevor Bazil. My preferred pronouns, just call me fucking Trevor. Fucking Trevor, you can call me a nigger, you can call me a tranny, you can call me whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, that's good. Just make sure you pay me. Obsessing with sweating. It's, it's taken me 24 years to be comfortable being this level of undesirable. I love being in love with somebody. I've, I've only ever been like a side piece. And, I, and like I think that the memes that I post trigger for me like this like addic like being addicted to porn sort of vibe. I think that social media is pornographic. Like there's something about the scrolling and the tapping and the like and the like engaging with other people. That's enough to like get some like it's it's triggering the same parts in your brain as like right. Well, I think or like masturbating. Is. <laughs> When does the performance stop? Keep my keep my archive alive. <laughs> Just make sure you pay me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you. I'm gonna